There are lots that can be done to prevent leg ulcers from occurring in the first place, but also to prevent the leg ulcers from coming back. This video shows some of the important elements of maintaining a well leg. One of the most important things is to monitor the skin on the legs. Look out for any breaks in the skin, any changes in colour, any increased edema or swelling to the leg, as well as any dryness to the skin. Keeping the skin in a good condition by moisturising it daily with an emollient will help to prevent the skin from drying and cracking and reduces the chances of a leg ulcer forming. Compression hosiery for the majority of patients will also help prevent leg ulcers from occurring. Assessing the leg for signs and symptoms of venous and arterial disease is an important element of that holistic assessment, including doing an ankle brachial pressure index. Observing the leg for signs of venous disease such as varicose veins, varicose eczema, haemosiderin staining, edema and ankle flare can identify those patients that may be at a higher risk of developing a venous leg ulcer. And compression hosiery will help to support the veins and help with that venous return. It is also important to ensure that the hosiery fits well and that it is comfortable for the patient. Hosiery also needs to be replaced every six months to prevent it from losing its elasticity. Trying to help the patient remain as independent as possible is really important and there are lots of hosiery applicators that can help either the patient or the carer to be able to apply compression hosiery well. Exercise such as walking and ankle movement exercises is also good for circulation as well as elevating their legs while resting in a chair. Another useful resource is providing patients with leaflets on preventing leg ulcers or on aftercare. This can provide them with advice that they need to help them remain well for as long as possible.